When it comes to slow websites, one of the biggest offenders are way too big file sizes on images. And it doesn't make any sense because you can easily get these images down without losing significant quality. This is a picture from a client of mine and it's a JPEG format, 1.3 megabytes, 2400 pixels in width. And I want to use this as a full width background with a dark overlay and some text on it. So let's open it up, go to export, export as, and the first thing you'll notice is that it Photoshop converts it into PNG by default. I don't know why that happens. 4.3 megabytes, that doesn't make any sense. We don't want that. <laughs> so let's get it back to JPEG. And now it's already down below the original file size. That's great. So uh, let's go here to the width and get this down to 1600 and look at the file size now. Great, 50% down in size, that's perfect. But it's not really perfect because we can do more. If you go to the uh, quality setting here, um, this is something a lot of people are not aware of. You can get the quality down significantly without anyone noticing. Uh, so let's go down to 80% first and already we are down 50%. Again, 200, that's great. But uh, so let's just uh, write, uh, what should we call this? Um, 1600 width and uh, 80%, right? Okay, so let's make a comparison with the original. So let's open these two at once. Why didn't that work? I'll try again, like so. Okay, so we have the original and the new one, and I honestly can't see a difference. And the thing is, we can get it down even further than this. We can get it down, I have gone as far as going down to, I think it was around 60 or even 50 at, at some point. Um, without ruining the, the image. So let's go down to 60 just to see. And uh, look at the file size. It's, it's down 60 kilobytes again. Okay. And uh, let's just say 60%. Like so. And uh, let's see if we can, let's just delete this guy, I don't need this. I don't know why this doesn't work the first time, now it does, <laughs> anyways, uh, 1600 pixel, 60%, okay, this looks fine to me. So let's try to upload this to um, a code pen that I prepared, and let's see how it looks I, actually with a dark overlay on it, because the thing is that when you uh, use a dark overlay and have text on it, it you can go down even further as far as the quality goes without anyone noticing. So let's copy this link, and let's go in here, and paste it in and see how it looks. That looks fine to me. I don't know about you. I mean, it really depends if you are a photographer and it also depends on what kind of uh, things you're displaying. Are they like jewelry, you know, beautiful necklaces or something? Then obviously you don't want to lose too much quality, but it's not like it looks like crap now. I think this looks fine. And it's more than acceptable, especially when you think about the reward you get from reducing the file size, you get much faster loading times on your site. And one of the things that turn the most people off from websites are slow loading times because people don't have patience for anything. And we know this from ourselves, nobody has patience for, for anything. So I just wanted to show you this. I think it's, this is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, if uh, it was helpful, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want more of this stuff in the future.